Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus quick news update video I found something on the forums that I just want to share with you. So Detective JT Prime is at it again. He's found a list of some EAN numbers of these particular figures here. So let's quickly read through these and I'll give you a couple of thoughts on them. They may be completely wrong, obviously you let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. What we've got though is a lot of legacy figures for next year. Now next year is the third year, the third wave of um, legacy and we know it's got a code word or a code group of letters called UNI. We don't know what this stands for. It could mean universe, we're not sure. But for those of you who are new to collecting Transformers um, or perhaps just didn't realize, they tend to release everything in years, in three year cycles. So we've had Legacy, we're currently in Legacy Evolution. The next phase is UNI, we don't know what it is, but if you remember the War for Cybertron was a trilogy, the Prime Wars were a trilogy, and that's just the way they said, tend to do things. So we've got a Uni Deluxe Cyber Hotshot, which is interesting, sounds like it could be the Cyberverse version of that character. Then we've got Deluxe Rock 3. Again, at the moment, there's heavy, heavy rumours that we're going to get some Rock Lords, which could be very interesting. Now, this one's really interesting because it says Deluxe Strong Arm PR. Now, at the end of the P, the PR usually stands for Package Refresh, but obviously we haven't had a strong arm in a legacy packaging. So that's really interesting. Now, it also gets more interesting underneath that. We've got Uni Leader Soundwave. At the moment, I think everybody's just speculating that they want it to be a Cyberverse version of Soundwave. We don't know yet. I'm imagining it's not going to be a G1 because we've had so many G1s during the War for Cybertron trilogy. So all we know, Leader Class Soundwave. Don't know if it's going to come with any cassettes. This again, I'm just reading what we know. Then we move on to the studio series. So we've got a core class steel jaw figure. So from Age of Extinction. What I don't know if the um, Ravage from the Bumblebee movie is too much of a retool. I'm not too sure. That's just my thoughts on it. But then what is really interesting is Studio Series 86. So the cartoon movie, Leader Class Springer. So obviously it had been Voyager. I would have think it would have perhaps just been a bit of a deco change um, or a package refresh. But the fact it's saying Leader Class, um, I for one really like the, um, the Siege. And of course they used the mold again for the Wreckers only last year. The Wreckers... Uh, box set so it's going to be interesting to see exactly what they do with a leader class uh, Springer or they might just keep the same mold they might put a few extra accessories with him etc maybe the you know the cannon which they mount and he fires them but I don't know I'm just 100% speculating um, at the moment but I'd like to know your thoughts too it's again very interesting time that's the characters there is the list there very interesting time to be a Transformers fan let me know what you think in the comments guys take care